Forty-five. Yes. Okay, so we already learned about special right triangles, 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangles. Well, trigonometry is used when it's not a special triangle or not a special angle, like a 30-degree angle or a 45-degree angle. There, you can have triangles with 32-degree measures or 28-degree measures, so that's when trigonometry comes about. So I've already showed you guys a little getting tricky with it video, and we'll watch it again after. But I'm going to refer to that video as I'm teaching. Like there was one part that was my favorite part that goes, no hypotenuse, that makes it tan. So we're going to be talking about some of the stuff on that video. I'm going to show it again, so don't worry. Okay, so trigonometry is derived from the Greek words meaning triangle measurement. So that's all it is, is just triangle measurement. We are gonna learn right triangle trigonometry, but there is also trigonometry that you can use without having right triangles, and you guys will do that in pre-calculus. I'll, I'll touch on it a little um, after this chapter. Okay, so first you have to know the terminology, okay? So, if you have an angle, so every triangle has an angle, we're not going to use the right angle with trigonometry. So, every one of these triangles has a right angle. We're not looking at the right angle. We look at one of the other two angles. And there's a side opposite the angle. So, if my angle is here, this would be the side opposite. Now, in trigonometry, what we use to represent angles is a Greek letter. Most of the time, it's called theta. It looks like a circle with a line through it. But you might see an angle represented with an alpha symbol or a beta symbol. So you might see different symbols when you're doing trigonometry, but we most always represent the angle with theta, T-H-E-T-A. It's a circle with a line through it. The side directly across that angle is called the opposite side. Is everybody okay with that? The opposite side is directly across from that angle. Opposite side. Okay, so that's one of the types of angle, or the types of sides. Another type of side is the adjacent side. This is probably the hardest one to figure out. So if I have my angle here, there are actually two sides that touch that angle. But one of the sides is always the hypotenuse. The other side is the adjacent side. So that's called adjacent. So in all of our triangles, we're gonna have an opposite side, an adjacent side, and, an, and a hypotenuse side. So if you look at an angle, do you see how an angle is made up of two sides? Yeah. One of the sides is the adjacent side, the other side's the hypotenuse every time, okay? So if I look at this angle, do you see how it's made up of those two sides? One of the sides is what? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. The other side adjacent. is the adjacent side. Okay, so here's my angle. That's the adjacent side. That's the adjacent side. So we have an opposite side, an adjacent side, and then obviously the hypotenuse, which is the easiest one to locate because it's directly across from the right angle. You guys all know how to find the hypotenuse, right? Yeah. And you remember the hypotenuse is the longest side. Okay, so you're gonna have some problems on your worksheet on the first side where you need to list the adjacent side, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse side. When we name sides, we name them with two letters, okay? So when I look at number one, see this X degrees right there? That's my angle, that's gonna be my theta. So what I do is I find the hypotenuse first because to me that's the easiest one to find. So what, how could I name the hypotenuse with two letters? X, Y, or Y, X, it doesn't matter. Then to me the second easiest side to find is the opposite side. So it's the side directly opposite that angle. How could I name that? X is Z. Z, Y. Z, Y, or Y, Z. <laughs> Then the adjacent side is that leftover side I haven't used yet. What's X, Z? Yes. So remember, the adjacent side, when, when you look at that angle, there's two sides that make up the angle. It's always the hypotenuse and the adjacent side every time. Okay, if I look at this, let's just find the hypotenuse first. How would I name the hypotenuse? Huh? 
RS or SR, however you want to name it, I don't care. So when you're grading... It's supposed to be the angle that you're basing on the... Oh, I know the angle, that's 60. No, it doesn't. How? It could be 32 degrees. It could be 24 degrees. We don't have... We're not solving right now. We're just listing. We're not solving yet. We're just locating... The adjacent side, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse side, okay? Because you have to be good at that in order to do trigonometry, okay? How, what would the opposite, that angle, opposite side be? TS or ST. And then what's the leftover side we haven't used yet? That's the adjacent side. RT. Okay, I'll do two more, and then you're going to have to do the rest on this side. Okay, so what's the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse? QP. QP. What's the opposite? RP. RP or PR. And what's the adjacent? Q huh? QR. QR. Okay, I'm going to do one more. What is the hypotenuse? <clears throat> YX. YX or XY? What is the opposite ZY or YZ and then what's the other side that I haven't named it? What is it? XZ or ZX however you want to name it. Okay so that's how you do page one. You're just going to list the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. I personally think the adjacent side is the hardest one to find. That's why I leave it for last. But if it's not for you, I mean, you can do it whichever order you want. For me, it's the hardest one to find. So that's why I leave it to last. So that's how you do page one. Can we finish page one real quick? Well, she's recording. You, yeah, I'm recording. Can't how fast can you go? Never mind. I'll give you one minute. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> I'll give you one minute, then we get to talk about Sokotoa, which I love. So good, Toa. Wait, Heck. number eight. Number eight. Nine. Be, For what? Uh, Adjacent? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. I know. Yes, PR would be the adjacent, and PQ would be the hypotenuse. What would the adjacent be? Yes, CB, you're right. Because the angle is always made up of the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side. Yes. You gotta get past a thousand on this game. No. Turn it away. I don't know. Hey. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's talk about Sokotoa. So when I was in high school, remember, I went to East Central wow. and I was a gangster, and our teachers there. <laughs> taught things a little bit different. So it's really important that you remember how to spell Sokotoa because that's going to tell us sine, cosine, and tangent. So to remember how to spell Sokotoa, this is what my teacher taught me and this is what I'm teaching you. Some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. <laughs> But that's how I remember. And I still ask my son to this day. I'm like, hey, how do you spell Sokotoa? And he goes, some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. So, some old hippie caught like another hippie idea. tripping on acid. What's yeah. funny is you can Google search ways to remember how to spell Sokotoa, and that pops up, along with some really bad ones. So you, oh, you might want to look it up later. Okay. <laughs> so what that means... This is how using Sokotoa tells you whether to use sine, cosine, or tangent. So sine, S-O-H, S stands for sine. So if you look at your calculator, which I should have pulled my calculator up, dang it. If you look at your calculator, there's a button on there that says S-I-N, sin. Do you guys see it? Okay, you're going to be using that. Ms. Ms. Your phone got Uh-oh. 